Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of memoization, which, no, it's not memorization, it's memoization. And basically what this is, is optimizing for um, speed by storing more memory in the state of our application. So say we have a simple function that, um, you know, say we're working at a hotel maybe, right? And uh, what we want to do is a guest comes up to the... Um, the front desk to check in and say they've stayed there before, right? Obviously, it would be nice if we can look them up by name. Otherwise, we're going to have to register them. So this is, um, you know, in essence, what a database would do. But in the, um, you know, in the sort of context of JavaScript and building a function just in memory, uh, in memory database and in memory cache, what we can do is actually create that ourselves by using an object and uh, instead of storing each one each time. If we've already seen that, uh, we can re return it from our cache. Otherwise, we can go ahead and store it. So let's go ahead and look at this. Basically, we can just have a uh, sort of an in-memory database called clients, right? And it's just going to have a, a cache right here, which is can be represented by a JavaScript object. Okay, let me take that off. And what we can do is um, we can have um, basically we can have clients dot prototype dot lookup right lookup this is just a function lookup and it's going to take in a client and we're going to say if this dot cache dot has own property very simple client uh, we're going to log out uh, returning plus client plus from cache. Otherwise, let's go ahead and, and memoize. Let's put our client in the cache. So we'll say this dot cache of client is equal to client, and then we'll go ahead and return uh, uh, return, and we'll just we'll just say constant log added plus client to the in-memory DB, right? So that, there's our very simple implementation of memoizing. And now let's implement it. So we'll say uh, var, you know, clientele, or we'll just say, you know, maybe, um, you know, the Anderson Hotel, right? We'll say var Anderson, Anderson Hotel and we want to give this hotel access to our clients database and what we could do here is we can just look at it real quick what do we have on the Anderson Hotel well let's look so we have this object right and it has a cache um, and it's got a lookup so let's go ahead and look at this let's do let me turn this back on and we'll say Anderson Hotel um, dot lookup and we'll just say uh, Theo right and what is it gonna tell me let's look it's gonna say add the added Theo to the in-memory DB okay um, so let's go ahead and look at what Anderson hotel is now dot cache right and we can sort of see right there our cache now has me right there and now if we go ahead and look up myself again then if we run this we can say add a theo to the in memory db and returning theo from cache so a uh, very basic example of memorization again this is optimizing for memory or optimizing for speed by giving up or basically allocating more memory here to create this cache so that we don't have to compute this each time and we'll get faster um, return times on that so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.